I have learned that if you stretch your arm out and pull it straight back, you get a pretty good straight line. If you have any bend in your wrist or elbow or shoulder, it goes wonky. My knife is pretty feckin' blunt. I think I've only changed it the first month, which was about seven months ago, so. Not too shabby. Yeah, old passport up here. A little bit above the door I have to do. Um, but it's wedge shaped, so large piece of plasterboard going all the way down to a super skinny piece. Before I do that, I actually want to stick the frame up just because we're only talking about like a centimeter of plasterboard. I might be better off just to plaster it. So I want to get the top piece of wood up there whole roof done here this is backer board backer board and backer board and now i'm going to start with plaster for the rest ah. all right those cables need to be chopped out no actually take gonna make it in with all this crap Get it up and figure out where I have to cut. Oh no. There's a little stone sticking out just there. I'm just gonna have to lift it above that. Disaster. Okay, it's kind of wedging on top of the stone here. Yeah, working with stone walls, pain in the posterior. Gotta get you up. Gotta get you up. I have two types of drywall screw. One's too long, the other's a bit too short. I'm using these fellas. For the ceiling and to outline the walls, I have loads of these I'm trying to use up. See the threads? Not only the size difference, but the threads are a bit crap on this. I got the small ones from Lidl. Anyway, the joys of drywall screwing. This is probably the only benefit of a short roof. <laughs> I really have to stretch to nail it in. Screw it in. This was really easy to do when we were doing the larch on the outside, but now we have to somehow bend the plasterboard into a circle. And I don't know where your knife is. But it's actually quite hard now, because I've tried a couple of times. And if we, um, if we bend it too much, we it just cracks and then you have a big gap in the paper so you just want to bend it ever so slightly 
This is really very stressful, Claire. And the first thing is to make sure we're only going through like half the size of it. So we don't go through completely. I don't want it to cut through, I just want it to be kind of weak. Yeah, that's half. So next, I need to mark vertical lines. Hold. Hold! Okay. Now, will these be perfectly straight? Not likely. But sure, be grand. This could be an absolute waste of time, Claire, and we might just have to do plaster and lead. This is a great camera angle, isn't it? <laughs> My back and your hand. Yeah. I feel like this I'm just going to waste, I mean, if you do waste this, a simple piece you of... be paving the way for everybody with curved walls. Ernie. It'll cut off your nose. in behind the bath. the bath so I can get my corner out. I'll try and get it behind the sink. Claire, what happened? Oh, it's fine. It wasn't correct. Where's the pipe? Oh, jeez. Try and keep it straight until I know where I want it to go. Okay, so put it down. Yeah. I might have to take a little bit off that. I suppose it wasn't meant to break like that. Of course it is. That's what we want. It's brilliant. If that happens like that on every line, it's fucking laughing. Language. We may have just... I don't want to do another curve though, Clark. Are you done with the curve, you are? I think so. It's too stressful. Top. I know where it is. I have a rough idea where the bottom is, but I find if you want to feel around to figure out where it is, the bottom's a good place because um, that's where the skirting board goes. Didn't have to worry. Straight in, like the boss. Are you laughing? Bro? No, you should be. I'm pretty funny. <laughs> uh. And then, the good DIYers will draw a line, I'll just eyeball it. Eyeball and five times out of ten, I get it every time. <laughs> See Claire's head going, doing the maths. You're doing my funny. Where's your tool belt and your knife? I believe there was a nice pink knife, wasn't there? Do you know where that nice pink knife is, Claire? Oh, yes! Now... I have to cut out my fancy tap. Yes. How are we gonna get this right? Disaster, hey? Eh? Right here. We need a very small cut made. Don't know if this is linear or not, but I'm thinking we need about 68 and a half. We should linearly go down to 59. I guess we'll cut that. Who will I cut it? Maybe I won't actually. Maybe we use off cuts, Claire. How about that? Um, I wouldn't, honey. I would get um, 
It's just what are you going to do with the other half of this? I suppose so. If you're happy with that then, Claire, let's do it. We're mostly interested in just getting the corner lined up straight. Alright, so you've got... Okay, I think that's even now. I lost it! Lost it! Yeah, that's cool. Do you want to practice your boots? That's boots. perfect. No, I'll let you do that, honey. Do you know where it is? This is a problem when Claire tidies up. I don't quite know where that is now. I think it's here. Perfect. You also have to pay attention to where the frickin' pipes are coming from. How many times I hit my head? That's it. That's great. Right. Got a few big boards up. Good morning, everybody. It is. Uh, yeah, it's plastic board time. It's Saturday, Saturday morning. Wine was had last night. Bank holiday weekend, St. Patrick's Day, or to you Americans, St. Paddy's Day. And we are spending the whole weekend plastic boarding, trying to make a big dent into it. We took a lot of time from the house over the past few months to work in the garden and do the polytunnel and raise beds. Uh, the weather is miserable, like torrential rain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get as much done. We hope to finish off this. I'd say it'll take you, what, 20 minutes, Claire, to knock out this room, yeah? Finish off the bedroom. Then we're going to do the hall. I'm starting at this at the moment, just trying to make a plan for getting up, taking measurements and doing the walls. If we get everything down to the bathroom, we close out the bathroom as well and then Claire will continue. I will pause and I'll do to send the wiring down to the kitchen. Hoping to start in the kitchen by next week. So big push today. Anything to add? No, only that I'm kind of glad we're inside and not outside. I'd say inside, I'd say it's about 15 degrees, 14, 15 degrees would be. Yeah, except you're in your big puffy red well, jacket. Well, I am because I'm not really moving. Rob hates this jacket because, yeah, it's rather disgusting looking. Mm -hmm. And it's got big holes in and places to put my pencil and oh my God. paint and everything. But it's the best ever because my arms are free. But then if I want to go outside, it has a hood to keep me dry. I bought this about 10 years ago. I only get to wear it now. Mm. But it's been great, great investment, wasn't it, Rue? You need one of these. Anyway, back to it. How's it going, guys? It's about 7.30. We're gonna call it a day here. First long day doing the plastering. It took a good bit more than I thought, to be honest with you. Um, how cool is this? This is where our tap for the bath's gonna come out. Water out of the ceiling, how cool. But yeah, this was super fiddly. <laughs> Trying to get all of these weird angles so the roof is sloping down and sloping down and there's a curve and like trying to get a model for that was a disaster but we got the top done not as well as the bottom i will say the bottom was great that's just one sheet of plaster and this we kind of i wanted to use the offcuts here because i feel i severely underestimated how much plasterboard i'm going to use but anyway got it done got down to our window put the backing here. So we're gonna have our toilet right here. Um, we have this stone wall, just it's the border with our, um, our walk-in wardrobe. And I just recessed this wall back a little bit. We're gonna rebuild the stone up to make a nice shelf. There's this really old pocket in the wall. Um, we're just gonna reinforce that and keep that as a pocket. We're gonna make another pocket here just to maybe throw some things in. Um, I have this really cool divide. Like we're all open plan here, but if you're sat down on the toilet, maybe the person that's in the bed doesn't want to be looking at you. So um, this actually wasn't a requirement from Claire. It came from me, funnily enough. 
Uh, Claire was quite happy to bear it all, but we do have a huge window there actually. So if anybody's come calling, they might see. Anyway, I managed to fit the plasterboard there with the off cut of the angle at the top. I just closed the top here and I just had an idea that I could actually turn all of this into shelving as well. So I'm gonna sit with those ideas. I'm calling this done. Um, I'm not going to finish off this area. I am concerned we don't have plasterboard. So I am going to plaster here with the walls all on the outside. I don't have light now, but... Aw, oh, aren't you very good, Claire? Well, I had it. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. I got shield, I did too. So in here is our wardrobe. I'm currently, I'm currently using this for um, storage. Uh, for our tools rather than going out to the barn and I will leave this till the very very oh, end Lord. I'm gonna save this until the end because as I said, I think I'm running out of plasterwork So I was about ready to plaster all this up and Claire was the, in there as you saw at the beginning but Then I realized that there was no insulation and no vapor barrier So I was like Claire <laughs> Time for your duty and then you jumped into action. What did you do? Yeah, I'm really happy with what I did because I didn't think I'd get it all done. To the hallway here, I just wanted to get everything vapor barrier to here. Now I haven't got it all taped. I started to tape there. Taping is a little bit of a grey area really because we have such an old house on one side and such a new build on the other. But anyway, we're going to Air, it's air tightness tape and so we're going to tape as much as we can but as you know in an old house it's not really quite possible to get rid of all of the gaps um, and so really with that it was just the insulation had to go up that was pretty easy vapor bar is pretty easy then we have this ducting up here is for our mechanical ventilation so we have, we kind of had to have a little sit down earlier and think about how that was going to work. We have had to join one here, which will come out of Ashton's bathroom. This comes out of our bedroom or goes into our bedroom, I suppose you could say. Then it follows the line of the wall all the way down where it meets another join here. Sent another duct down to that bathroom. And then the whole lot is going to go all the way down to the end wall or end triangle where it will go out with the plan that we can eventually add, I suppose, the mechanical side of it if we needed to and take hot air from areas and put it to colder areas or also the opposite, cool areas um, that are extremely warm. Rob's thinking our bedroom might be very warm. Our window doesn't open. However, we do have double doors. So we may just have to um, sort of figure that one out. And other than that, then we, yeah, we got a, we got a really nice bit done. The plasterboarding takes an awful long time, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so by the time you've fiddled around with that, you know, an hour or two is gone. But Rob did sterling job in our room. Sterling. So I now he's ready. I'm saying sterling a lot, so I got it. Yeah, now it's rubbing off. Just a euro. So now you, you, we should be able to just pass the board away here. Um, it's probably not all the same size, but anyway, we'll see how we go. And then this bathroom, which as you will have seen, um, we must change the ducting here because that's too low. The heat will rise, so it needs to be in that corner, which is fine. I've got something stuck to my hand. And then this all needs to be taped around to meet the other vapor barrier from the walls. The window is here, so this needs to be plasterboard above and below. And then that room is actually this room is pretty much done. Yeah. Um if we can It'd be amazing tomorrow if we could get even just down as far as here without the wardrobe, obviously, um, plasterboarded. Mm -hmm. um, we'd be, it'd be really looking good and it really transforms the room, as you will see, with the, the bedroom. I know, the lighting just really isn't good where Clara has us, so. Yeah, it's still really dark outside. Um, and... We're not doing time lapses. We've followed other YouTube channels and when they start the plastering, 
it just seems like the plastering goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks. And it's like, how many weeks can we watch them screwing in white boards? Yeah. Very few time lapses. We'll just keep updating um, as we move. It's looking good. Catch you tomorrow. That's about it. See you tomorrow. Ta-ra. Access is super tight. Oh shit. Okay. So access is super tight. And um access is super tight. And the insulation up here that Claire put in makes it crazy hot. Alright, I just realized I have to um Hmm. I have to position smoke detector. Let me try and put a hole. Yeah. Let's go here. I think I could definitely suggest a drill instead of a Stanley knife, but holds all. There we go. Anything else? We're not putting any lights up here. Um, we are putting lights on the walls to highlight this wall. This kind of pebble dash effect. Like a glove, boys. Except here. That's not good. Of all the places I could have made this hole, what's the bet that I put it in the wrong place, eh? That's better. This is kind of a bit daft. I think this is too long, so I'm not terribly sure where the screw should go. This is 
the technique from Good Simple Living. It's meant to be a drywall cutter. It makes a lot of smoke. It's not successful for me. I'm gonna give it another go. Good evening, folks. We are in for some excitement, not. What we're doing tonight is I'm just making the holes really so we can put the wires through. Um, as you've seen, we have done quite a bit of the plasterboard. I just have left to do this corner. I just want to figure out how I'm finishing up here first. So I'm happy enough to just leave this one probably plasterboard unattached. Uh, I'm gonna leave this completely off also because this is where my new consumer unit's gonna go. And I'm just gonna do the wiring and plumbing up here. I should have that done within a day or two. So hopefully this whole section can be um, plasterboard at the weekend. And then we start on the kitchen which is going to be a super exciting. Anyway, let me get back to drilling here and we'll see if we have time to um, stick some things through our rafters. is the sound of my drill giving up as it happens. This is taking its toll. Do you want to swap and I look for it? You reckon you'd be able to handle this? How many holes are you doing? Six. I'm doing four up here. The green line is going in the third one. And then I'm just doing two at the bottom for the water pipes, four at the middle for the electricity. No, I'll just you keep going with that. Okie dokie, Claire. Eggs and cokey. <laughs> Pains me to have to drill through these. They were okay. perfect for so long. And then Claire wanted running water and well, you know what happened. <laughs> dark but this just wasn't going through anything so you can't even see me so I had to go out to the workshop try and find the file and attempt to give it a little bit of an edge and see if this works Uh. 
out of battery. Colin, the big guns to finish off the job. Get the four amp hour battery. Let's see me true. Okay. Following the laser, we have cut one hole exactly on the laser, two underneath, one on top, two at the bottom for the water pipes. These are for the electricity. I think I might need two more, but we'll get started with those. And they've come all the way through to our first flat roof rafter and right here which is put stuff all over our kitchenette area <laughs> <laughs> 